I have to go to shoot it. Also, I, I do have a f like. I don't have as many uh, master arts as I did before. Mostly because I just didn't do as many attacks as I did in the first round. So, uh, yeah. That's a bummer. But... I thought I had to go to shoot you. I should write something. Oh crap. Ah, there you go. <sighs> oh, God, that's still saying the same shit. Let's get to work. extra money now that I didn't spend it like crazy. So, that was you want the nice. Okay? You want thank you very much. You want this one? Thank you very much. You want these for your patronage? So I just basically ended up not buying, um... The main character, a dagger, because you you would find one in a chest anyway. So. Which one? Who's it for? Which one? You want this one? You want this with that? Thanks for your patronage. Who's it for? Who's it for? Which one? You want this one? You want to equip that? Put it to good use. Who is it for? What are you selling? Are you sure? Come in. Are you sure? Are you sure? That must go to a destination. Are we sure this is right? Not seeing anything weird. Oh wait. I have no Auto. doubt. This place gives me the same sensation as when I touch the bird cage. Think this is what would bring me back here. I suppose so. Even yeah, though it's only been about half a year. God. Still, I had no idea Alice here would be graduated weird going from back to this school. I didn't either. And I figured a student council president would know better than anyone about celebrity graduates. Perhaps she had a past here that she wished to erase. What do you mean? Who is the principal now? Those voices we heard in her jail. Those cutting words and that painful cry. I don't know whether she was one of the instigators or the victim of such bullying. However, she experienced it. Left such a gaping wound in her heart that she refuses to even acknowledge the truth of the matter. And that truth took place right here. So that's why Shujin has a secret room. <laughs> well, we should get moving. What's next? We may not be in Shibuya, but this place is still linked to its jail. Inputting the proper Emma keyword should permit access as usual. Okay, let's try it. Everybody ready? Yeah, we're ready. Keyword, Wonderland. Keyword successfully entered. Beginning navigation. You know, I thought that we were just gonna just gonna walk around in Shujin looking for something. So it's a classroom? Is this what a school is like? It's rather different than how the internet makes it appear. The cognitive distortion's really strong here. What's going on? Uh, hey, look! Huh. Are you seriously crying? Ugh, how pathetic. Trying to get us to go easy on you. You tricked him the same way too, didn't you? No, I... I'd never do that. Wow. 
What? What is this? God, you're disgusting. Serious. Why are you still alive? Also changed. What are these prison cells? No time. Here it comes. Look sharp, folks. We should avoid wasting energy on our attacks. Fire. Let's read the enemy's movements Fire. and respond in time. Oh, he does have a lot of weaknesses.
yours. Leave it to me. audio a little bit on my end. Right, I think it sounds fine with my end not working. This guy is very quiet. I wish I had the ability to uh, lower the volume a little bit of the music. Like, don't get me wrong, I love the music, but... Okay, yeah. I don't know what the kick is. 
I think I'll leave it for now. This one, this one. Thanks. There. Sorry. This one. Thanks. Hang in there. Defense up. Hey, that one, me. I finally know where to find the Showtime game. Going full Kingdom Hearts. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, what? Uh, what? Do much with this, I'm sure. What does that do? Just more damage, okay. What was that rumbling? The birdcage in the jail is now unlocked. We will be able to access it. For real? It appears our most recent target held the key. In other words, we defeated the warden guarding the key. A warden and Alice's memory. Key to the cage in her jail. So a different shadow held the key, not Alice's? What are you going on about? Uh, oh, nothing. Oh. I was just thinking how many differences there are from the palaces. That is true. Good point. The that palaces she don't have any rooms like these, or wardens guarding keys in hidden locations. It's as if the huh. more we learn, the messier the situation gets. If it weren't for Sophie, we wouldn't have even made it here. Have I been helpful to the Phantom Thieves? Mm-hmm. You know it. Praise 
Please accept it. Mm. Well, we'll praise you all you want later. We've got a bird cage to bust open. True. We have one last task in the real world first. Let's send Alice the calling card and take back those desires. Okay, all that's left is send in the calling card. What should it say? We're after the desires that Alice is seizing from the people whose hearts she changed, right? Then don't we have to write something like, We shall take back the desires you've seized! Smart. Using the same logic that works on treasures is probably our best shot. Once the desire takes form, we can steal it. If we return the victims their own desires, everyone should return to normal. So... What'll happen to Alice, then? Well, she should be having a change of heart and confessing soon after. Don't tell me that she Actually, doesn't want to do it now. that's not set in stone. What we're stealing this time are the desires that Alice seized from others. This isn't her own desire or ambition. More like the treasure we found in palaces. There's no way of knowing whether or not Alice's heart will be changed. Even if we rescue her victims, without a change of heart in Alice, this will just turn into a pointless cycle. But if the calling card works, her desire will manifest inside the birdcage. That creates a high probability that we'll encounter Alice's shadow there. We did cause quite a scene destroying the lock. Whether through words or fists, don't we still have the opportunity to change her heart via her shadow? Then let's do it! Let's take her head on! Oh, oh thank god, okay. she's not gonna be Sorry. a little bitch about it. <laughs> no, that's the dangerous approach, but... If you guys are all up for it... I want to rescue Alice, too. Not just her victims. Alice said she wanted to be a ray of light that could inspire people suffering through life. You mean when she was on TV? I don't know if she really meant all that. Well, I do. I get why she said it. Because of all the bullying in her past. I oh, mean, please don't really. doesn't it seem like we saw part of Alice's trauma in the secret room? Trauma? It's like an invisible wound in a person's heart. It comes from living through painful experiences. A wound in a heart. Maybe that trauma's the whole reason the jail formed. Trauma distorted Alice's heart, giving birth to the jail. That is very similar to Palace Generation. I've gotta say it's possible. But how is that trauma relevant to Alice's current behavior? This is just a hunch, but... I think she sees what she's doing as some kind of revenge against the kinds of girls who treated her badly. Stealing someone's dude right in front of her as revenge to Alice? Oh, that's pretty sick. But her shadow's operation is way too massive for that to be all. She just has too many victims already. What if she simply kept escalating because no one was there to stop her? Becoming a monarch must create an awful amount of distortion. All that only makes me want to help Alice more. If her heart's grown that distorted, then I want her to at least remember how it feels being a ray of light for somebody. Is she beyond helping at this point? I don't know. But there has to be someone who at least tries. We can't just abandon Alice. Oh, Lady On. That could be. I just can't believe she was lying when she said that. I'm with you. Let's do it. No objections here, either. However, should we engage her in combat, we must avoid taking her life at all costs. Absolutely. That's out of the question. Best case scenario, we just talk her out of it. Guys, do you think I could write the calling card this time? There's something I need to tell her personally. Yeah, that's all yours. Thanks. It'll be great. Writing a calling card? Need any help? Ooh, you can help me with the phrasing, Sophia. Awesome. All we gotta or figure out now is the, the delivery. language. <laughs> I may have a plan for that. This is a special reunion of the Phantom Thieves. We gotta do this right. Hey. Is 
there's anything you forgot to do, make sure you get everything wrapped up by tonight. Once you sent the calling card, there's no backing up. I think I'm... Okay. I don't think there's any, like... Who is it um, for? Which one? Let's call it. Oh god. Oh, I meant social shit. There you go. I don't have any social stuff to do. Thing. Yeah, no, it looks fine. I, I guess I could go to the um, Get to velvet room first. I should probably check out the velvet room. <clears throat> Welcome to the velvet room. Awaken your new self. Ooh, fire. Oh, they add a cost if you need to buy something. It for seems it as well. that it can gain new power. Hi. Okay. So sorry. Hi, magic. Oh hell yeah. Choose which skill. Wait, wait, wait. Hold Is up. This what? The first... Be born anew. Wait, I'm confused. What happened? Okay. You're about to use a personas as a material at a higher level than those currently registered. Would you like to register these personas? Yes. Is this the persona? Oh, well that should automatically be a yes. Be born anew. That's kind of shitty that it doesn't automatically do that. Ooh, isn't slime very strong against physical? Power. Hell yeah. High endurance, high Choose strength. Which... And... I guess I could give it wind, since I'm not using Morgana. Is this the first? That's not sure. Be born anew. High endurance. Very nice. Mokoi and Lightborn. So Mokoi has wind. Probably. Choose which. Right, this one is not working. Oh, Awaken crap. Awaken your new self. You wish to strengthen it? I don't have our sand anymore. I think I'm gonna level How much uh, power will you add? This is what you've chosen. That's yeah, fine. Okay. Oh, yo, that's good. Oh, I do already have fire because of this. How much power will you add? This is what you've chosen. Yeah. Okay. Oh, brainwash. Yo, that's good. Brainwash is super strong. Guess How much power will you add? This is what you chose. Okay. Uh, so that's the last skill she learned. Uh, I guess I'm good for now. You wish to browse the. What will you be registered? Would you like to. This for you have no personas to please take a look. Is this okay? Man, a sound is. Is this okay? Double soul? Ew, our sound is actually pretty damn good. Is this okay? This. Yeah, I, I guess I'll grab them. You may take it with you. May luck be on your side. 
Alright, well, let's send a calling card. Are you all set? Then I ought to start getting ready too. Our mission begins tomorrow night. Alright, let's do this. In other news, Akira Kanoe, founder of Medis, announced a joint project with one-time rival company, Pineapple. Tech heads are fired up with anticipation at the news, awaiting further details with... Okay, folks, listen up! Good evening. Been a while, huh? Perhaps you remember us. We are the Phantom Thieves. And we're back in action with a new heart in our sights. A wicked witch who treats people like toys. Alice Hiragi, you pretend you're a ray of light, but all you do is hurt people to indulge your own darkness. You're a bad person, and bad people have to be stopped. And all those desires you stole. Tonight, we're taking them all back. The return of the Futaba Cannon. Opal was a blast. Shibuya's in Phantom Thieves frenzy all over again. I'm sure Alice got her calling card come right on, now, come too. On. So all that's left uh, is to wrap this up. Let's head in and finish the job we started. Let's do this. Let's go. <clears throat> One sec. Okay, there we go. Right, tonight we take back those desires. Or, the stolen desires, I guess. 